Welcome back, everybody. I got a very special guest today. First, the disclaimer, nothing intended for illegal purposes. We're talking about the past, and we're going to go way back here. I have a very special guest today, Mr. Leander Daigle. How you doing, Mr. Leander? We're doing okay, sir. Good, good. I'll just just hit it off. Now, uh, when and, and uh, how'd you get involved with the American Pit Bull Terrier? Well, it was way up in the 60s and 70s, and I started... Uh, myself and, and my uh, gang, uh, I would <laughs> say, in 75. Right. right. I, I was uh, had three cousins and about a dozen nephews uh, calling ourselves the uh, Cajun Country Boys to uh, not exactly uh, talk about the locations <laughs> right, in the right. magazines. Right, right. Yeah, that was, uh, you know, that was popular. I used to follow all y'all back in the day, you know, uh, and I was real interested. In fact, one of the first shows I went to was in, was in Louisiana. It was a great show, a little town called Vivian by Shreveport, you know, so Louisiana has a rich history with the breed. So it was your, your family that, that was involved pretty much? Yes, sir. Uh, actually, we started, me and my uh, uh, old cousin, Mr. Horace Dale. We was only two conditioners for several years until uh, we started breaking out some of my young nephews. Uh, but it was going steady in those days. Uh, mine in 1975 is when I started uh, and uh, made several of them in that year with, with my dog, Ike. Uh, I fought him three times. Uh, in that year, you know, and he wasn't the only one. So it was, you know, every, in this part of the country, the roosters and the dogs was, was a common thing. Right, right. And uh, um, speaking of Ike, now, for, for those listening, I followed his career. I know he beat uh, Stinson and Glover's champion, Tuffy, and then he also beat Oso Negro, Rascal's brother. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yeah. What kind of dog uh, was Ike? That was the first, uh, your second, Stinson and Glover was his second match. Uh, also, Negro was his third match. Right. And the first match was with uh, Mr. Uh, Pat Perry uh, out of uh, Texas. Uh, and he was conditioned by Mr. Floyd. Wow. And I want to emphasize uh a lot of these fights was with, Mr. with uh, the Stinson and Glover, which are, we are still friends today. And Mr. Floyd and Mr. Stinson, Jim, is one of my two best friends. <laughs> so Good. Yeah. Competing just brought us closer together. Right, right. Yeah. Mr. Floyd is an icon and he, you know, we talk every once in a while, you know, he'll call me or I'll call him. And uh, I've met Jim Stinson too straight up guy you know uh, a oh, lot of history and a very very good dog trainer with super dogs in those days Woo. right right that Tuffy was a full-time winner yeah yeah what and, uh, and, how'd that go i'm sorry go no, ahead i was gonna say how'd that how'd that show go with with uh ike and Tuffy? uh Tuffy was a full-time winner he was my second match uh, it was a stifle though. Once he went in the stifle, uh, that was the end of the match. <laughs> uh, it lasted 45 minutes. Uh, with my, my dog was a nose dog, a head dog. Uh, I was, you could say a family dog. He <laughs> was the friendliest, easiest gone dog, but the hardest biting rascal. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the first first one that was uh, with Mr. Floyd and uh, the Pat Perry had a dog named don't like to say the name but the name of the dog was uh, the nigga dog cold black dog right and he never quit he just went in the wrong corner he had he was so messed up uh, he went to the wrong corner so he was counted out. All three matches was from 45 minutes to 46 minutes. Mm. Uh, mm. 
Boy, that's a, and, that's, uh, a that's a tough the, style the, to the beat. The story is in a magazine, uh, uh, Pitbull Big Dog Report, with uh, was with uh, uh, Mr. Alt and his wife Karen was putting on the magazine. Right. Sharon, Sharon, right. and Raymond Holt. Yeah, yeah. In fact, uh, if if anybody can get a hold of the magazines, both yes, the uh, the Tuffy match and the Oso Negro match, they're on the same page, even though they took place at different times. Uh, the Oso Negro, uh, I don't think they was doing uh, magazines at that time, uh, but the uh, uh, two fronts, uh, Pat Perry and Tuffy is on is on the in that magazine. Right. Okay. Gotcha. And I have about 20 of them old magazines. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably one of them, the rest of them. But sometimes, sometimes the, the young lady was Mr. Drew Forbes' wife that did the uh, reporting and, and uh, did it well from Mississippi. Right. Sometimes uh, she wasn't there. So. Uh, yeah. yeah. Now, now, uh, like I mentioned, it, all family type of atmosphere what what was it like back then them shows back then the get-togethers and all that well that was that was the best part because we were so many uh we was all working people and couldn't afford but with so many of us we could we could match for whatever uh for whatever money uh and that helped and we we had a very uh big variety of dogs <laughs> you yeah, know yeah uh, once a month we'd get together and uh, i'd cook up some jambalaya and uh we we roll a few and check the good ones yeah yeah uh we were so many of us uh which was a good thing uh and then later we have uh, had a bunch of nephews that started helping with the conditioning, thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> but I had, I had, a, I owned a, two, me and the nephews built uh, four uh, stands of uh, bleachers, and we had a pit, a carpet, uh, generators for at night, and we was, I knew most of all the people around my area, the farmers and stuff, and, and we was having matches Oh my God! Right. Um, often during the season, I would say, not every weekend, but I can tell you what it was often. Uh, it was a great, great time. Yeah, yeah. Have food? Did you have? You know, when I went down there, it kind of reminded me of my culture. You know, I'm Mexican, uh, uh, descended. Yeah. You know. And yes. it reminded me of that same kind of thing. You have food, you have family there, you have music, you have just good get together, you know, beverages and all that stuff. And I really took to it right away. And I go, man, these, these Cajun, they just like Mexicans. You know, I was telling myself when I was down there, you know. That's exactly what I always said. I, I made one or two trips to uh, old Mexico and had, they had... Uh, <laughs> Uh, goats and and stuff roasted and yeah. outside and we drank beer. It was just like just yeah. like the Cajun. We yeah. had a blast. We really did. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. Were great times. Great uh, days. Yeah. It, it was a good era because the law wasn't so so strict. You know, uh, right. Even when it started as a misdemeanor, we was there never was any problems uh, in my matches. I had such a big family. We could look out so uh, cut an argument before it started and uh it was it was a good thing we've never had a problem with all the matches we did now they had a few other people in this vicinity that uh, had a few you know few matches uh mostly uh, we matched with the locals uh P mississippi and texas right uh, uh, we were uh, mostly not all of them, but pretty much uh, most of them that we mashed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I would say uh, also was the biggest uh, biggest match 
And also Negro was also Negro was not a 50, 51 pound dog like mine. But I had come uh, under the weight twice. So I figured the, the third time they was gonna really get me. He was a, a head dog. And uh, they never could bring him under 52 pounds. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Maurice Carver uh, told me, he said, if, he, if we pay the forfeit, I'm not fighting you. Right. And my dog was more ready the third time because I've had two experiences before. Right. And I told him, uh, Mr. Carver, I don't want you forfeit, and I'm going to match you anyway. <laughs> no, and you don't owe me no forfeit. Wow. wow. <laughs> Afterwards, uh, he came and shake my hand. He said, Mr. Nagel, I was always told about this dog, and it was all lies. I promise you, that's a bull dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Do you remember so, what the uh, weight difference was? Uh, that that was a uh, also Negro. Right. And he did he come in at fifty two or fifty one or fifty two pounds? Actually, in fact, fifty two pounds and a half. Wow. And I was right at fifty one. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, "No problem. But we'll pay the forfeit, but we're going home." Yeah. So. I told him if you wanted to go home, it was okay. But I don't want no forfeit, but I will fight you. <laughs> Just got to show them sometimes, you know. Well, they figured that was it because in those days, uh, the the pool was a thousand, uh, ten thousand mm. dollars, and in those days, uh, that was unheard of, uh, you know. You, you could buy a house with that, a nice house. Oh my God! But here, that's another. Uh, we had a pool. We'd make a pool for each fight. I had a couple of cousins that would hold uh, the records, and and you could bet anything from five dollars to to five hundred dollars. Uh, wow! You know that's so, interesting. Yeah. Why didn't really, I think of that really in my time? You know, I I never thought of doing that. You know, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. We could do, go with the good dogs, then you know. Yes, sir. Yes, and believe sir. me, after this dog, the, they was looking for you, okay? <laughs> it was gunning <laughs> they for knew, you. <laughs> they knew we could match the pool, so uh, if there was a good dog somewhere, uh, uh, my my nephews and them and my uncle, uh, cousin, would do the matching for me. Right. And uh, I told him one time, I said, hey, guys, uh, can't you all find me an easy one sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it was it yeah. was definitely fun and, and good memories, buddy. Right, right. Now, now Horace was your cousin. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. We we started together, me and him, and my nephew Ronald. Right. All three of us uh, had had all most of the dogs. Mm -hmm. And and uh, was was another one named Linus. Linus, yes, sir. Linus uh, was her Mr. Horace, Linus, and Mr. Herbert. Uh, Three cousins that we was okay. raised together, We're, and man. we was all in it. Right? Were they brothers? Those three? Yeah, oh, those three were brothers. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Mm -hmm. uh, but only me and Mister Horace was conditioning for probably three, four, five years. Right. We was the only conditioner, mm -hmm. which was going <laughs> all the time in those days. Yeah, all the time. I remember Mister uh, Horace is the one who conditioned. Of course, we do this together, you know. Right. Uh, the one with those. Now, those uh, uh, was a champion also, uh, and lost on his fourth one. Uh, but he was eaten up with heartworm. He shouldn't have been matched, but he was mm. so good. Yeah. Right. Uh, right. And who um, who did uh, who'd you go into with Dozer? Uh Twice was with a Mr. Roland Fontenot. Oh, yeah. And the third match was with a Bob Cox. From uh, Mississippi. And I'm, I'm missing one somewhere. Uh, but the last last one was right at two hours. And his, his uh, let's see. That's going to be in the magazine too. Mm -hmm. uh, whoever you know, whoever has has uh, those magazines. Right, right. 
Yeah, that's where I first saw him. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, I still have a but I, I got probably a good bit of Mr. Uh, Ms. Sharon and, and Holtz. Uh, as a matter of fact, we, we went at Doza, had a match with, uh, with uh, Mr. Holt and Sharon and his wife in Covington. Right. Uh, oh, he had a bad dog. <laughs> uh, but we we was lucky enough that time too. So. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. How were uh, how were those dogs uh, bred? Dozer and and Ike. We call you call no. him Ike. I call him. His name was Cajun Ike, right? Yeah, Cajun yeah. Ike. Uh, God knows the breeding, Mister Dorsey. Okay. Uh, I bought that from an old man, an old friend of mine. Uh, he was a brittle dog. He was a, uh, a house pet, uh, just like Dozer. And uh, we, we, we kicked him off and seen how hard body he was. And uh, I bought him, uh, me and uh, my cousin Horace and, and Ronald, my nephew. And uh, he, he was a, a dog to keep. And, you know, because he was such a uh, good with the kids, we could turn him loose with puppies. He was he was an awesome dog. Wow. Uh, yeah, an old, an old brittle dog. Uh, uh, the, the third match, we almost didn't save him with Oso Negro because he was... Oso Negro had a, had a head that looked like a... <laughs> Of number four tub, <laughs> uh, yeah. and, and the first 15, 20 minutes was heck. My dog I got his tongue out, hanging, cut up, and never put it back in his mouth until the, the match was over, with mm. and still won. Wow, amazing! Yes, it was. It was amazing. Yes, sir. That that's mostly what I remember. Mostly, so, so most of the I would say ninety percent was the ones that I was matched with was was some alligators. Uh, oh my God! I didn't realize it at the time, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, with uh, uh, with Oso Negro in the in the magazine, uh, whoever reported it, they made a comment and said he's got the biggest head on a dog I've ever seen. You know. <laughs> yes. When we crossed and he came to come to wash, I said, "Oh my God." <laughs> And and his ears were cut too, I think. So he didn't even have the ears, but his head was uh, massive. You know, massive. I don't think he made it because it, uh, uh, my dog had him bit him in the throat uh, quite a few times at the beginning, mm. and they they couldn't. They was pulling at the end. They was uh, trying to save him, pulling that's his his whole uh, his whole uh, throat and stuff was mashed up. Mm. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was. It was. Uh, was he was a good dog too, mm -hmm. very good dog. Right, right. And those are uh, uh, what was his breeding? Do, both Ike and and those are now uh, my my nephew next door had the papers. Uh, he, he got that from it was a house dog in Morgan City. When we got him, he was five years old. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. But we did we did most of those matches in in seventy five and seventy six. The Dozer and and the Ike. In between that, we had two more champions. Uh, uh, so uh, it was <laughs> it, it was uh, I was conditioning those every day. I was working and and uh, didn't even have a treadmill to start off with. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mostly mostly uh, hand walking and running or walking running. I had a, a gin mill. Homemade gin mill, <laughs> <laughs> and I moved in the country, and I built me a huge, uh, so I could do it with rain, shine, or snow. <laughs> yeah, yes, and uh, uh, it was uh, we had something going all the time, and then uh, whenever people would come from out of town, I would we cook up a barbecue for them, and and until until the uh, ready for the show. Right. Uh, right. We did this all the time around here, so uh, we, uh, we, that's, I guess that's how I learned our reputation down here. We were, we were all, you know, good, good friends, you yeah. know. Yeah, 
good food, good friends, nothing better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a, just one more. I had a bunch, but just one more. Uh, I would like to uh, bring in the conversation. It sure. was, it was, uh, it was a uh, Floyd, Mr. Floyd Boudreaux, uh, dog. Uh, a good friend of mine had bought it and uh, raised it from a puppy, and he, he ended up with a bad hip. And uh, he, he gave it to me for me to see if I can work him some, some threaten it to make a long story short, which I don't know how to do. <laughs> and uh, they matched me. They, we won one match, and then they matched me with a seven-time winner with mm. the Mr. Tom Clayburn, he had a, heart, a dog they called the King Dog. Mm. Uh, uh, that's also in a, in a magazine, and it, that, that match was absolutely unbelievable. Uh, he had a head and nose dog, uh, and I stayed on bottom the whole time. But to make a long story short, uh, we, we won. From, uh, come up from that, the bottom. That that uh, story, everything I'm gonna tell you is in the books. Right. Uh, this one is in Pit Pal, a historic Tribune. Right. It's in that magazine. Yeah, I think I have it. Yeah. Yeah, I think <clears throat> I have it. What was that dog's name again? Uh, Rocky. The one I had was Rocky, mm -hmm. and the seven-time winner was Mister. Uh, Tom Kleber and his dog, it was called, he called it the King Dog. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. And I had track of him from the seven time winner. Uh, Mr. Kleber only claimed he was nine, but <laughs> you know, I, I, I witnessed most of the seven was for sure. Right, right. Could have been nine. He man. was, everybody claimed that he wasn't game, you know, uh, but he, he was a nose and head dog and he was. One of the best I've seen, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and he had he gave up, but he, he his his kidneys give out, you know, he locked up on him. Right, right, yeah. Boy, you know these dogs they go through a lot. You know, I'm I'm not one to denigrate a dog man or a dog, no matter the outcome, you know, because they go through so much. Oh and I have a lot of respect God. for them. I, I had a I had a. Uh, I wrote a little page here. I gave to all my nephews <laughs> when they started conditioning. Uh, and I told them, I said, uh, that dog you got is going to give you everything he has. Mm -hmm. uh, don't put him in a pit unless he's ready. He doesn't know anything, but he's going to give his life for you. His life is in your hands. Uh, don't put him in if he's not healthy. And make damn sure he's got the keys. Amazing, uh, amazing. And I, I got a list of the the stuff they needed to do. You know, right. uh, thread meter, wood work, gin work, pulley work, swim, and possible biting, 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 walking, walking, walking. And I did a lot of hard work uh, and the proper diet. Right. What was that uh, diet like? Pretty much, if you don't mind so, sharing. I'm sorry, go ahead. If if you don't mind sharing, what was that diet like? What did you feed? What did I feed him? Yes, sir. Uh in those days there was this uh diet you get, it was called per plus. Mm -hmm. That that was my miracle <laughs> feed, and I added I added a portion of, of uh, uh of meat and and uh, greens. And the vitamins and stuff, but you, you were supposed to use this. It was pre-digested uh, food. That was the best that I have ever used. I've used it for all my, from about the middle point. I always had trouble with uh, fluid, fluid, fluid. My part of the country here is wet and hot. Mm -hmm. uh, and I had a trouble adjusting. But with that diet, I'd you could bring him the last 24 hours all the way to two hours before you enter the pit. You you could uh, bring him at the weight you wanted. Mm. 
Uh, and I would, of course, add, uh, like I'm saying, uh, a little meat on the side uh, and, and some veg and some a lot of broth. I have a recipe for uh, chicken broth uh, that, that you would mix with this feed. That's, that's uh, broth and milk. Mm. Uh, I'm sorry, a broth and, and uh, rice. Mm. And you boil the meat off of the bones and the rice, you cut it off when that that rice uh, grain pops open. There you, you go. Read it. it mixed about a gallon, two gallon, and mixed for a whole keep. It, it was awesome. <laughs> I got the recipe somewhere. If you, if you want it, I can send it to you. Yes, sir. We'll stay in contact after this and we'll share. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you... Uh, one of my books too. I'll send you uh, one of my books and my keep, so you can tell me what you think about it. But uh, it's funny you say that because I did, without knowing you, or you know, I didn't have a lot of help back then when I was starting out. You know, old I guys. didn't need it at yeah. all. Yeah, but I uh, uh, did the same thing with the bro with the broth, and that, that's what I tell people. I cooked. I used brown rice, but I, but you know, whatever rice. Yeah, brown good. rice. Yeah, I didn't say that part, but yeah. you're correct. You're yeah, correct. And when it, like you said, when it cooks and it cracks, you know it's done. Yeah, that's that's interesting. We share a lot, we share some things and didn't even yes, know. So, yes, in my uh, mind, guys, I'm going. In my mind, I'm going. Well, I guess I'm on the, the right track. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. Many tricks. Yeah, uh, say that again. Guys that learn the hard way, like myself and you, uh, got pretty many tricks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I would say. It. What I, I what I say was the most helpful for me. You take the yolk of an egg once it's boiled and mixed with a broth. You know, like you you can give it with a large syringe. Uh, you you're gonna keep a dog alive uh, as long as you want to, wow. unless it's hot. You know, unless he's uh, I've kept dogs alive for five six days that they couldn't even get up just with that. Uh, as a as a feed it's so easy to, to fix the, the yellow you smash it with some some broth you know mm -hmm. and and you can give it even if the dog don't want to eat you can put it in his throat with a with a big large syringe uh and wow. that that uh i've i've uh never lost the dog let's put it that way and i've had some that was messed up uh mm -hmm. But around here, my nephew next door, we even use it on calves and stuff like that. So uh, some little tricks from the from the, from the country yes, guy, they, you know. Yeah, take heed, ladies and gentlemen. These are old tips that that tried and true and work. You know, I never had thought of that, but if I had dogs today, I'd be be using it. I'm telling you, I would. That, that makes oh. total sense to me. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. And uh, the, the thing about, uh, we was good friends in those days with Mr. Boudreau, and we still are today. We still talk uh, mostly every day for sure. Uh, he was a good friend, and Mr. Jim Stenson, we still go to these old uh, reunions together. <laughs> yes, sir. Jim. That's that's where I met you at that uh, one reunion, you know, and... Uh... I just had the it's, utmost respect for it. it. Was for me, it's like meeting, you know, some uh, movie star or something like that. I had heard oh, about you, read, read about you, your family, and all that, and I'm going, wow! I finally get to meet them, you know. I uh, I met uh, uh, Mr. For, Mr. Floyd had some good friends. Uh, I can't remember the name now, but in in Arizona in Tucson. And he went spend two weeks. Did you know they did have as many dogs as Floyd did? And I happened to be visiting my son was in the Air Force up there, so we spent the whole two weeks together. Oh wow! Uh, and and we we lined up in the yard, and they had so many people in there, and and Mr. F they come ask me to uh, sign an autograph, you know, and I didn't <laughs> say nothing. I, I, I was just following Mr. Floyd, and it was funny. He still makes fun of that today. Yeah. And uh, I. He, and then he asked me, and he said, hey, partner, we caught him to the pot. He said, hey, partner, you don't want to sign no book? 
I said, what are you talking about, Floyd? I said, you signed the books. He said, no. <laughs> so it was your signature too. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sometimes we don't realize that, you know, but people, uh, yeah. you know, they think a lot of us, you know. I just try and stay humble, you know. And well, we we, we didn't move much from around here, so we was, you know, not known until uh, we started winning a few, you know. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh Mr. Roland Fontenot, had you ever heard of him? Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. He had dogs. He could he could get a dog from anywhere. He's the one I think that, that got also Negro. Mm, okay. And he told me afterward, he said, God damn he called me Kunas. He said, God <laughs> damn Kunas, you not only hurt my reputation, you're taking all my dad going money. <laughs> We laughed at that. We was good friends. Uh, he had that awesome bitch called Porky in those days. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a that was a bad dog. Yeah, but uh, we make I'd make suppers down here, and and uh, we would get together just just you know, uh, you don't for, for, for matches and stuff. It was it was uh, really good to have yeah. those kind of friends. Yeah, right. Did you uh, did you get dogs from Mr. Boudreaux? Uh, yes, I would say uh, probably fifty percent dogs uh, came off of Mr. Boudreaux's yard. I had a bunch of dogs for him, mm -hmm. just keeping him here for me, and uh, he was. Uh, uh, I had three or four nephews that had dogs that came from him. You know what I mean? Bought right. off his yard. Right. Uh, one of them made a, a champion a dog by the name of Moose. Uh, and the, the boy had the papers and all that, but uh, I I never got the paperwork on it, but it was all Floyd Boudreaux's breed. Mm. And the dog Rocky come off his yard too. Okay. okay. Uh, and, and the last match I made is not in the books because there was nobody, uh, a lot of was gone. It was a, a, a little gyp, uh, uh or puppy, but from Floyd Breedens too. Mm. Uh, name was Baby. Okay. And uh, she uh, made three three uh, matches. Uh, fact is, the with Mr. Crenshaw was the last one. Uh, the house was full of my kinfolks, and we couldn't cover his money. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And uh, we we won anyway. We won. Uh, we just uh, Mr. Floyd had to say. She he said, "Pardon, if it wouldn't have been one hundred percent, if you wouldn't have had a one hundred percent, he said, we couldn't have made it. We couldn't have made it." Uh, wow! Wow! Yeah. That was uh, with Mr. Crenshaw. Yeah. So quite a that quite was a, a that was a good dog too. Oh my God! Yeah. yeah. What weight was she? A little baby she was dog. At 30, uh, 39 pounds. Okay, nice. Nice. Uh, and uh, uh, Ike had one daughter, two of them, but one daughter, uh, Tanya, uh, that's in the book too. And she was a little brittle, brittle dog with a uh, pencil nose. <laughs> she could bite. That was 37 pounds. She could bite so hard, so fast. Uh, we went to Mississippi, matched in Mississippi. Matter of fact, it was in a big, the biggest seafood restaurant they had. <laughs> when they closed up the doors, <laughs> when they shut down, it, it was zero degree was so cold. When yeah. they closed down, they set up everything inside the pit. <laughs> <laughs> and wow. uh, and uh, we won that one too. Uh, uh, it was it was unreal. We, we the vet called us. You know he had both dogs, and he called us in the room to see. He had the dog. He said he smoked an old cigarette in a little hole. And oh God, that's all he used to do is do pits dogs. <laughs> yeah, a vet. And he said, uh, "You all gotta see this." He said, uh, and the other dog was laid on the table, and he said, "Look at here." He said. It's just like you'd stab it, put a nice big hole over you, showed us all all the holes. He said that that's that's unheard of, but wow. Yeah, yeah. We 
was good. I ended up being good friends with that Mick. He gave me all kind of good tips. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm sure there were times now you, you were working two, three dogs at a time, maybe more. Well, me and my, my nephew, Ricky, the last one, uh, he, he got to be a year. He got better than me. Oh. Uh, he was a good, he, he had good ideas. And, and yeah, uh, we worked four at one time, but that, that was it. <laughs> yeah. I worked a couple of them one time too, but uh, uh, that was too much, you know, with us working. Oh, I had a job too, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, uh, it takes was, a lot of time. It was kind, of, kind of rough on the old guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know uh, the feeling. I know the feeling. Uh, yeah. What? Uh, who, uh, who? Who do you consider like maybe you know? I know they were all good people, most of them, you know, and and they're all tough. But who do you consider maybe some of the toughest or some of the best conditioners or something like that? You know, opponents that you had or just people you knew. Well, uh, I would say uh, my nephew here, Ricky, and Mr. Floyd, and Jim, Jim Stinson was probably one of the best dog men, except Mr. Floyd, that I have ever met. Mm -hmm. And he had the dogs to go with it, uh, uh, his, their own breeding, you know what I'm saying? Yes, and sir. Uh, around here, they had several locals. They had a... a one name, uh, uh, Emory Fall. Right. Mm -hmm. They called him Mr. Black, and he had a, a place up in a barn on the top floor. <laughs> we had many matches there. <laughs> he got in trouble with his neighbor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so that, that anyway, yeah. uh, and we had a, a lot of uh, local ones here in, in the country. Uh, but I would say Mr. Floyd, Jim Stinson was uh, conditioning, and uh, and my nephew Ricky was was good too. But I had another nephew that that made a champion, and uh, he's passed away now. Mm. Uh, and I don't have the paper on him, but he was a good conditioner too. Mm -hmm. uh, in this part of the country, it was it was uh, we had some good dog men, you know. Yes, sir. Uh, did, did you ever know uh, Mr. Uh, Gaboon Trahan or Trahan? No, sir. Only heard of him through Mr. Floyd. Okay. And seen some of the magazines from Mr. Gaboon. Because right. and, and, right. Mr. Floyd has all these. Uh, if you ever decide you want to talk to Mr. Floyd, he's going to be a little hard to understand. You have to know him. But his mind is still sharp as a tack. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> He's eight, eight years old. He he can't even. He's in bed. He can't even feed himself. You know, he talks with this little machine. Right. And uh, his mind, he gets me to research stuff. <laughs> his mind is still sharp as a tack. Still remembers. Yeah. Reminds me of my mom. You know, she's older and see, she's eighty nine, and her mind is still clear. She remember. I ask her family stuff. You know, like this uncle that. You know, back in the day, and she remember. You know. Wow, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Amazing. Uh, mine, uh, most uh, from that distance, well, especially with the dogs, it kind of it was kind of special. Uh, but what happened last week and yesterday, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, <laughs> same here. It's it start my mind starting to fade, too. yeah, mine too. You I know? forget from one minute to the next, but you know, that the dog stuff it seems implanted in our brain, you know, we can't we can't forget it, it just sticks there, you know. Yes, Which I'm glad yes. For I that. had a, a someone uh, I got to be a friend with from from uh, Australia, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, he was writing a book, supposedly. Anyway, I sent him a lot of information, uh, research from Mr. Ford and all, and that was a con job. And oh. ne never book never came out. Oh, Not even his real name in there. Yeah. Uh, that's, so that's too bad. I'm 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 uh, basically thinking everybody's honest, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I do so, too. Uh, I enjoyed I enjoy doing this. They don't have many of us uh, old guys left. Yes, sir, and I I appreciate it very much, very much. And now, I have so much of uh you know uh, stuff from those days. I still got that in the big box. Uh. Mm -hmm. 
And while I was waiting on you, I was reading all them old magazines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do that too. You go back and I do uh, that all the time. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. I got about 20 so what old magazines. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and well, sit gonna... back and I got on the cover written on what, you know, what match it is. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's easy for me to look it up. You're right. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get in contact with you after we're done in the next day or two and I'm going to. I'm going to send you some stuff out just so you have something to read. Let me know what you think of it, you know. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. conditioning for me was the most. I love this. Oh, my God, I really love this. Uh, I would live, I would actually live with them dogs. Uh, the, the wife the wife used to say, uh, are you coming in the house tonight or are you staying in the bar? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I miss her too, cause she helped me a lot too. She was she I lost her about twenty years ago with cancer. So mm. I've been living alone here for twenty years. So, but everything is still hanging in there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, the, uh, I'm kind of that way with my wife. I I tell people I wouldn't couldn't have been able to do what I did without her. You know, she's just so supportive and you know. Oh yeah, uh, and and my son. He was there and he helped. He was about 10, 12 years old in those days, of, <laughs> you know, when they first started. So, yeah. uh, but he was there. <laughs> yeah. Get out there. They help you get involved. It's nice. My son helped me a lot. Too. He used to help me condition dogs, you know. And uh, just, just great, uh, most, great. Uh, it's memories. a taboo thing nowadays. You don't even talk about it unless yeah. it's somebody, uh, you know. Uh, most of the old people that's, that's my age is mostly all gone. Uh, so, uh, it's not often I get somebody to talk about this, you know, yeah, yeah. uh, we, we get sessions, me and my nephews next door, uh, with poker games and, and the poker shirts down to talk about, the, the dogs <laughs> talk about dogs yeah. <laughs> of the old days. Yeah. I was always, uh, you know, you read the old Pete Sparse magazine, you know, and, and, uh, Oh, uh, yeah, I have one of his magazines, maybe a couple of Pete yeah. Sparks. Yeah, yeah. I met him too. Oh, good. Yeah. What yeah, was he like? Yes, what indeed. was he like? Uh, oh, let me tell you. That was a guy with a reputation, too. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. I, uh, I'd i always go to the Cajun country section, you know, and I just love the names, you know, like Blackfall, Loveless Domain, you know, and, uh, of course, Roland Fontenot and Gaboon Trahan and, you know, all these, Absolutely. uh, 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 was was Hollis Shirley? Was he from uh, Louisiana? Hollis Shirley, yes, sir. He's from uh, North Louisiana. Okay, real good friend of mine. Very good friend of mine. Right. Made quite a few matches up there. Wow. Uh because uh, there in Mississippi, because after it, at the end of six seventy five, I started uh, started getting me a referee. So, uh, but it, with the Cajun rule book. Uh, there was a guy, I'm sure you heard of him, Mr. Uh, Norman Kimmer. Right. Uh, when he put on a lot of shows in Mississippi, and when I would go up there, he'd have me ref. And when he, I would, they, when I had some down at this end, he was always there, and he would ref. So uh, uh, we was, you know, uh, kind of ref everybody because he was an honest guy. And and I call it like I see it myself. So, uh, yeah, those that those was are, all included in in those days. Right, those are the types you want, you know. And oh, uh, uh, well, yeah. Mister Kemmer had a lot of good dogs too, huh? Uh, oh, say it again, please. I said Mister Mister Kemmer had a lot of good dogs too. He was real active at that oh, time. Oh yes, yes, yes. When we go to Mississippi, that's, we go to his house first. He was a big hog hunter, too, him and his kids. Mm -hmm. They hunted hogs. He had a room with trophies on their walls. You should have seen that. Yeah, wow. but he had a yard full of dogs, too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And he was a good guy. I mean, uh, we, we, we marched together a couple of times. Uh, we had we had more fun in the pit than, uh, yeah, he was, a good, <laughs> he was a good guy, a good, honest man. Right, right. Yeah, what's uh, what's some of the, like some dogs you've seen that other people had that you thought pretty highly of? Uh, Mister Rowan's dog Ruby, uh, and uh, let me see, uh, 
I'm thinking uh, they had another one named Shirley. Uh, fact is, we was contemplating when when they went picked up all the dogs uh, named Shirley that had that had the records never lost. Mm -hmm. uh, was that Squirrely Shirley from uh, uh, from Texas? Yes. Okay. Uh huh. I think so. Yeah. 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 I had uh, and, uh, some dogs bred down from her. And they had one, I think, named Shotgun. Uh, and uh, I'm trying to think of the other one's name. That was some bad dogs. We we hadn't we hadn't. Uh, I think that was still on the list. <laughs> when, yeah. Uh, right. Uh, and they had one named Ruby Porky. Ruby and Shirley, that was uh, dogs you, you, and this little dog that we fought up there in, uh, in, uh, in North Texas, North uh, Louisiana, uh, Ike's daughter, Tanya, and that was a dog like that, that nobody else wanted to match. Mm. Mr. Floyd, once I had made the match, Mr. Floyd had called me and told me, she said, partner. Uh, I would find some excuse. <laughs> he said, "I have to fight that dog." Right, right. Uh, so, yeah, they had they had some good dogs around this part of the country. They had some some very very good dogs. Right, right. Now, was it was it uh, y'all or was it someone else that went into uh, Jim Stinson's? Uh, what was his name? It was a son of Zebo Willie Champion Willie? You remember oh, that dog? No. Uh, 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 Willie, uh, but Black Fall went into Willie. Okay. With the hustler and mm. lost easy. <laughs> uh, uh, the, the, the fact is, Black was a, everything he owned, he bet it. That was, that man lost so much money with the chickens <laughs> and the dog. He had, he had, <laughs> they had, they had a match and then they had a rematch. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Willie. Oh, oh, that's right, is, with Willie, huh? Yeah. 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 Well, Willie, I think, is what beat Dozy his last match, if I am mistaken. Uh, he was full of hot worms, though. And then Black matched him with uh, with his dog. He had uh, he had a hustler dog, mm -hmm. and they 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 fought in uh in uh, uh at Mister. Uh, let's see. In in North Louisiana, uh, South Louisiana. Let me see. I got the name right here. Uh, I'm looking for it. Uh, but anyway, they fought up there, and and Black. I don't remember how much money the man bet, <laughs> uh, but he didn't have. Uh, Covington, Louisiana, and Mr. Jenkins in Covington, Louisiana, he fought. And he, he when he, the match was over with, it was easy for, for Willie, too. Uh, he had one dollar left and he <laughs> threw it in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> My nephew, Rollo, uh, that was with me when I picked it up and he framed it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, he picked it up and he, yeah. and he framed it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But Black, was a good conditioner, you right, know. Right. Yeah, he was a pretty good conditioner. Mm -hmm. uh, he had a brother too, didn't he? Well, he had a brother that fought a lot of dogs, had a lot of dogs, and I I don't want to go too much into it because he uh, he was not an honest guy. His right. name was was uh, uh not uh, like black, huh? Well, I'm not going to name him right now, but anyway, uh, R.A., his name was R.A., but uh, he had a rub for his dogs, and he got in so much trouble, he had, you know, they, they run him out everywhere, so he, he had to get rid of his dog, so he couldn't go anywhere anymore. Right, gotcha. Uh, yeah, so gotcha. Uh, I, I went to the matches myself, and uh, what I'm talking about is... is uh, <laughs> <laughs> I seen the reports from the from the from the vets. Right. Uh so Yeah. You knew it was But true. that was his brother and he had roosters and he had a, a pit, a rooster pit, uh, and he fought many dogs there. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh 
the, you mentioned Mr. Jenkins. I talk about him all the time because I know uh, somebody who was around him a lot, you know, from a young kid till he grew up. A, a guy named JJ. He's in Louisiana, too. Uh, uh, but he talked well, highly. He of, was, he was, uh, uh, him and, and a good friend of mine, his name was Drew Kirk, for, uh, for the, right. Uh, and, and, uh, fact is, uh, we was fought, I don't know how many dogs together. Drew was a, a hell of a dog man. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we went to Mr. Jenkins many, many, many times. He had a place just across. Uh, with big old trees and nice. One time we went and brought all the family. We cooked out there, and when those fought uh, Raymond Holt, we brought all the family. We cooked, had a picnic and stuff. Wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, it was a great day. Yeah. Yeah, um, he, uh, uh, there, uh, you mentioned the Pit Pal magazine. There was a article in there when, uh, with Drew Fav and it it mentioned some of his dogs, you know, and he it said he'd won like thirteen in a row at the time. Yeah, yeah. he was he was a good. Uh, fact is, we mean his whole family still. Well, uh, he had he was a big family. Uh, we still we still uh, on, on the cell phone. We still good friends today. Yeah, uh, since he passed away, right, uh, and he had some good dogs. But he was a good conditioner too, good keep, and he put on a lot of shows in Mississippi. Right. In fact, he used he used my pit <laughs> <laughs> and my corporate and stuff. Uh, yeah, we was a actually we was a guest. We were guests when we'd go up there in Mississippi. Right. Right. The mother had a hundred people in line to get in. Anyway, we he call us to pass in the front. I used yeah. to tell him, "You go get somebody to kick my butt." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Drew was a good guy, yeah. and he was in with the at one time with the sheriff in that in that in that era uh, had a whole bunch of dog himself. Wow! Yeah, it yeah. was it was uh, so it pretty was much safe. Mississippi, we went there many times. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember also from that magazine they had a article with the uh, Buddy Creech. Did you know him, Buddy Creech? Creech. Creech. Oh, that sounds familiar, but it don't. I can't see him. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he had, I think he had like Boomerang, Eli dogs, but there was, I just, yes. I like that Pit Pal magazine. Had a lot of good dogs in there. Had a lot of. Uh, yes, I'm uh, very familiar man. with uh, Boomerang, well, uh, the, the, the writing and stuff. Uh, I, I've seen so many, so many uh, uh, dogs. Had you heard about the one they call Blondie? Yes, sir. Oh my the, the god! I watched her two, three times. The Curry oh, Brothers. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah. 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 In fact, when I went to Sam's place, I got to see her there. She was already retired and all that, but uh, yeah, I heard nothing but great stuff about her. She was she was a bad female, huh? Yes, yes. They matched me up with her too. <laughs> uh, and, and my dog developed hot worms and and. Uh, uh, I canceled. Uh, yeah, before we was talking, it was it, we had all agreed. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah, she was. There at... was a bunch of uh, good dog men around here. You, did, did you you hear about uh, like the Fisher brothers? Yes, sir. Richard Fisher. Yeah, that they they were they didn't miss any down here. Yeah. Wow. And there there was always the betting from the other side with Mister Linus Herbert. And and, and uh, Mr. Horace, mm -hmm. they was the guys bet a lot of money, right? And the fish in them could cover anything you got. <laughs> I'm still friends with his daughter, right? Right. Uh, right. On the sale, he's uh, so yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I so many people I meet at the shows and stuff that that I know the face, but I can't, you know. Uh, that's what I, I treasure the most. It's all the friends that I made. In the in the dog business, that's mm -hmm. what I treasure the most. Yeah, yeah, that's uh that came up in another chat I was having. You know, they asked what what's your what's your fondest memory or your best accomplishments? You know, something along those lines. You know, and I didn't I didn't answer. Well, this dog or that dog. It, I told me it was the people I met. You know, the friends I made and absolutely all the memories. The friends, absolutely. That's what I say because. Uh, I, actually, 
uh, I've, I've never uh, mashed anybody that 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 I didn't know, you know, as a friend. Uh, one time was with uh, uh, Floyd's, uh, the first, second match with, with Baby. Uh, and then I found out it who it was with. The boy, uh, it, the bo- I knew the guy good that was conditioning. Mm-hmm. And uh, it wasn't his dog. It was for these people that that uh, that did not have a good reputation. Right. So I called and canceled. It was we was uh, three four weeks in the condition, mm. and uh, but he was a good guy. He had got messed up in the booze and pills and stuff, but he talked me into uh, you know going ahead with it, and which we did. Uh, but my nephew was working for the. That's that's another story. My nephew was working for the sheriff department. And I told him we y'all can come one car, one car only, and stop in front of my house uh, to check. I want to check trucks and everything. And uh, <laughs> I had my nephew park the sheriff department car in front of my house. So, <laughs> <laughs> so but there was about seven, eight cars, right. you know. But they didn't stop. I could see them passing up and down. But anyway, <laughs> everything turned out good. Yeah. Uh, we won the little match and everything. Uh, so, well, you had your uh, little protection there, huh? <laughs> yes. Well, yes. <laughs> uh, but we checked trucks too. Right. Uh, you know, it, for us, the game was 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 a clean sport to have fun. Yes, sir. Uh, that that's the way that's the way I always looked yeah. at it. Yeah. You know. Yes. Uh, I had so, I, I lived like I'm saying. I lived in the country. I didn't have no thread mill. Everything I got was homemade. <laughs> uh, except my little pond, I even cut me a pond in the back to swim him. Yeah. Uh, and I had a little seventy trail mark bike that I run in, in the fields. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I had so many gizmos that I worked them on uh, in the backyard, and it worked, buddy. For yeah. that bike, for that power, for that reflexes, it, it worked. So. Just ingenuity. Just get out there and build something, you know? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, I tried to pass it on. Some of them didn't understand. My my best, the thing I love to do most, I had a, a, a rope with a pulley I put in a tree. Mm. And and uh, that I could pull up and down with one hand. And I had a hide on it. And, and you could you work that hide and up. And down and just exactly like they do in the pit. There you go. That just that's exactly what he's going through in the pit on his hind legs and and build up the hind legs. They do most of the fighting on the hind legs. Yeah. yeah. Uh, except except that that king dog that dog that had a bad hip. <laughs> he, yeah. he did his entire fight from the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a tip. I, I guarantee you somebody's gonna take that and try it. You know, because you know, people are always thinking of ways, you know, and there's a lot to be said for new technology and feed and supplements and all that. But some of them old ways are valid today. And I guarantee you, Mr. Leander, somebody's going to take that and try that pulley system. Uh, yeah. That that was my best. That with that, uh, And it was just a little, too, you could go to any hardware store, get you two little pulleys. And rig it up in mm-hmm. in a tree or anywhere up there, and you could pull it up down. You could pull it just like you want, and then you could swing that thing around just like he's in a pit. Yeah, you know, yeah. with that hide, you you can't beat that with a stick. Yeah, makes total sense uh, to me. You know. Uh, yes, yes. You uh, mean... And it's good exercise for the for the guy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. You're going against I... the dog too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I didn't have a problem because uh, I was a jogger all my life. I'd get up at three, four o'clock in the morning to jog down the road. So yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, the exercise didn't bother me any. So the work, right. the more work it was, the better it is was for the dog. You know. Yes, sir. Kind of. But you kind of get that from the dogs. You know, they work. You'd like to work. You know. And, yes, uh, yes. You. Ha- I, I used to tell the, the kids. One day out of the week, choose your day. But he don't do nothing, not even walking. You let him rest. Right. Uh, uh, you know, he needs that rest, especially during the last three, four weeks of the the keep. Mm-hmm. Uh, you you burn down on him. You know, he's giving you the best he's got. He needs that rest. Mm-hmm. 
I agree. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. You still uh, exercise to this day when you can? Uh, yes, except before the holidays when my old back gave out, uh, the doc said, don't keep it, stay away from the gym. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. so I haven't been there, but I, I'm, I'm getting a, a, an injection from my back, which I didn't do in two years. And uh, I'm getting that Tuesday. And I'm, I'm hoping to get back, you know, to my old routine. Yes, I, I was going to the gym two, three times a week. Mm. Uh, you have to keep that up when you get old. You sit on a few days, and that's, that's the ball game. Yeah, right. right. That's why you yeah. look like you're 35 still. <laughs> well, yes, yes, sir. Uh, 85 is uh, a pretty good, pretty good bit of seniority. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's put it that but, way. Uh, yeah, but I, I meant you look like you're 35. Not not, oh, not eighty oh, not eighty five. You're a good guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got to, yeah. Thank now you I, got I can't I can't lie because I've seen you in person. Now I'm not lying, people. This is good shape. You know I hope I look half as good. If I pray to God I well, get to, I get to reach that you age. You know. It's got it. You kind of don't have a problem when you're living alone. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, right. I think my boy said this year, Pop. It's the last time you go cut grass. You understand me? I was, <laughs> yes, I understand. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's the last time hey. till the next time, huh? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, our time is about up. I have kind of a time limit on my phone, Mr. Leander, but I really thank you. And, you know, I have the utmost respect for you. And hopefully we'll do it again. I'll get back to you. And I really appreciate you doing this for me. Oh, uh, well, I tell you what, it's my pleasure, buddy. It's my pleasure. When it gets to these old bulldogs, uh, I kind of get loose tongued. Yeah. That's uh, good. And I uh, also, I wanted to tell you, I have a few, not many pictures, but if, if you are interesting, I can have my son shoot you a few later. Yes, sir. Few... I'll get a hold of you in a few days. I'll get your address. You'll get my address and we'll exchange stuff. And I'll put, uh, one of those in my future books i have three books out so i'm going to send you one of them and tell me what you think of it give me your honest opinion and uh, once again i really appreciate it and uh, that'll, that'll work that'll work i'll have him but uh, i can't do it on on myself but he can so okay uh yeah it was a pleasure a pleasure talking to you mr garcia thank you much thank you very much i appreciate it